Move on. Right. I'm, I'm glad to be talking to a couple of men about uh, all the sexual harassment and what's going on on the Hill because we've talked to a lot of women about this. California Congresswoman Jackie Speer introduced a bipartisan uh, bill today to help prevent sexual harassment. She spoke today along with uh, New Hampshire's Congressman. Let's take a listen to what the ladies had to say. But we all know that Congress is quick to pat itself on the back for accomplishing modest measures. So it's up to us here today to ensure that we go the extra mile to truly reform the system and to protect the victims. Zero tolerance is meaningless unless it is backed up with enforcement and accountability. This is shameful. There is a serious sexual harassment problem in Congress, and too many congressional offices are not taking this problem seriously at all. The inadequate policies that are in place today about sexual harassment in Congress make it very difficult for victims to actually come forward, report incidents, and seek justice. I think one of the best remedies here is to elect more women to Congress, but that's me. Let me ask you guys about um, this $15 million fund that it turns out that, that, that exists up there. Not $15 million fund. It's a fund, and they've paid some $15 million out over the years in um, uh, claims, uh, sexual harassment, discrimination, and we don't know what else. I mean, it's almost like it's a, it's a secret fund that, you know, that was kept away from most of us. Can that happen? Well, yeah, it can because they're protecting one another. This is a very powerful body. You know, the elected officials on the Hill are, uh, are products in and of themselves. But the real problem here is under the rules, they're so onerous and uh, the ones accused are so protected. 180 days to, to file or to make a claim versus a year, uh, 30 days, 60 day periods for mediation and counseling. Counseling about what? It's all confidential unless it goes to court. And these are public funds are being paid out. I recommended on Twitter, if I may, I recommended on Twitter, Twitter that that fund not be used to settle these, that the, that the politicians pay themselves or be required to get an employment defense fund from an insurance carrier. And that was my question. Taxpayer dollars. I, I'm, I'm going to bet you're saying that they should be paying out of pocket, of right? Of course. And we're talking about tax reform here, and this is another example of how our tax dollars are being wasted. Um, there's good reasons for taxes, of course, but some of this, you know, is this ridiculous. And to your point again, before the women can, or men could file a complaint, they have to sign non-disclosure. I mean, this is really about politicians protecting themselves, and it's ridiculous. Let's talk about our goal is to get back to, to Congress and get elected. But you've got to be intentional about stopping bad behavior, because if you change those rules, you'll get less of these bad actors. And we should also point out some of these Congress members who are talking now, they, they will not name names, and they know of some of these Congress members we're talking mm -hmm. about, because they, they don't want the blowback, because, you know, getting legislation blocked and that sort of thing. 